Among the most important things in our lives today are machines. Nearly everything we use or wear is made with the help of machines. Much of the food we eat is prepared for us by machinery. Machines like this have hundreds, sometimes thousands of parts, and it looks as if it would be hard to understand how they work. But all machines, even the ones with a great many parts, are made up of just a few kinds of simpler machines that are not hard to understand at all. These are called simple machines, and in all there are six of them. First is the lever, a crowbar, a nutcracker, a shovel, are all different kinds of lever. The second kind of simple machine is the wheel and axle. We can think of many things that use the wheel and axle. Even a doorknob is a wheel and axle. Third is the pulley, like the pulley on a building which helps us to raise materials. The fourth simple machine is the inclined plane which may be a loading ramp to make it easier to raise an object onto a platform, or a flight of stairs, which is also an inclined plane with steps cut into it, by which we raise ourselves up to the next floor in a house or a building. Fifth is the wedge. An axe is a wedge, and so are ordinary nails. The sixth simple machine is the screw, such as the motor car jack, or the vice for holding things at the workbench. To do work, we must use force. A force is a push or a pull. Lifting is a force too. Machines, like the simple lever, in this case the claw end of a hammer, let us use less force on the machine, while the machine uses or exerts more force. A very strong man would have a hard time pulling these spikes straight out, say with a pair of pliers. Yet, without exerting a great deal of force or pull on the hammer, the spikes are taken out quite easily. The lever is some form of bar or rod that turns about a fixed point called the fulcrum. A man prying a big stone with an iron bar is using the bar as a lever. The bar rests on a small stone which acts as a fulcrum. As the man pushes down on the bar, the stone is made to move up but the longer downward moving length of bar where the man is pushing has to travel farther than the shorter upward moving length as it lifts the stone. The longer the bar, the more weight the man will be able to raise. With a longer lever, the man uses less force, but he has to make up for it by pushing down farther. A nutcracker is simply two levers joined together each using the tip of the other as the fulcrum or point of leverage. A woman using a broom is working with a lever too. The wheel and axle, another type of simple machine, can be used to make things go slower or faster. A small, fast-turning wheel with teeth, called a gear, can make a big gear turn slowly. It is necessary to make things go more slowly sometimes. For example, motors turn very fast, but often slow speed is needed where the work is being done. On the other hand, turning a big gear wheel fairly slowly makes a little gear go fast, and a small amount of force is turned into fast action, as with an egg beater. Machines also make things move in a different direction. 
Using a rope which passes over a pulley near the top of a building allows us to pull down while the load goes up. But we haven't used less force because the pulley only changed the direction of the force we exerted. If an object weighs five pounds, it will take a five pound pull on our part to raise it. But if we had a weight of 20 pounds that we wanted to raise, we could use one pulley that is fixed at the top and another pulley that moves at the bottom. Two pulleys set up like this would cut the force needed to lift the weight by half. It would now take only a 10 pound force or pull to raise the 20 pound weight. If we pass the rope around four pulleys, the force needed to raise 20 pounds will only be one fourth of 20, which is five pounds, or a five pound pull. But what we gain in one way by using less force, we lose in other ways. Now we will have to pull four times as much rope through the pulleys to raise the 20 pound weight as we did to raise the five pound weight with one pulley. Using pulleys like this, one man can lift very heavy things. Anything that works in our favour is called an advantage. So we say pulleys like this give us a force advantage. But to gain this, we must lose the speed advantage. No simple machine can give you a force advantage and a speed advantage at the same time. This force advantage. This drum is too heavy to lift up onto the low platform. The drum can be rolled up with much less force than would be needed to lift it. The wedge, such as the kind which can easily split heavy logs, is a kind of inclined plane. And so is the screw, which is an inclined plane wrapped around a rod. A paper triangle can be wrapped around a pencil to show how an inclined plane can become a screw. The slanted edge of the paper acts as an inclined plane and now becomes the thread of the screw. The force advantage of the screw is very great. With the use of a screw jack, it doesn't take much force to lift a heavy motor car. And it doesn't take many screw jacks to lift a house. But the work goes very slowly, for the force has to move around many times while the screw jacks raise the house just a little. Many of the machines we use are made up of more than one simple machine. For example, a pair of scissors, like the nutcracker, is made up of two levers. The edge of each of these levers, or blades, is a wedge. This wedge is sharp, like a knife, which is also a wedge. The bolt which holds the blades together is the fulcrum. In a pencil sharpener, we have three simple machines. The crank or handle and the sharpening part which turns are a wheel and axle. On the axle are several screws. And the thread of each screw is very sharp, acting as a wedge to cut and sharpen the pencil. All these simple machines make work easier for us. So here are some of the important things to remember. To do work, we must use force, which means that we have to push, pull, or lift. Machines let us use less force on the machine, while the machine exerts more force. However, we have to give up force to gain speed, or give up speed and move much farther to gain force. The six simple machines are first the lever, second the wheel and axle, third the pulley, which is a kind of wheel, fourth the inclined plane, 
fifth, the wedge, which is a kind of inclined plane, and sixth, the screw, which is an inclined plane wrapped around a rod. All the machines that do the work of preparing nearly everything we use, eat or wear, no matter how many parts they have, are made up of some of the six simple machines fitted together in different ways. So we can say it is a combination of these simple machines that forms the basis of all the complex machinery used in modern industries.